Hello, dear friend. This is Eric Dunder from Shaska Tech, and today my colleague Lily has received a dispute case from respected you, saying that the pump will our company sent to you cannot normally work in your applications. Yeah. Uh, after back to office, Lily has checked with us, and uh, we have also have a serious check with our colleague in technical department. Yeah. So after our further check, we got a preliminary conclusion that it's because that your power supply is too weak to power the pump. So the phenomenon that the rotor start work and stops, start work and stops repeatedly will exist. Yeah. Uh, to show you the issue and our conclusion yeah uh, here i just made a simple test comparison between two different power supply a weak one and a powerful enough one to power the same pump yeah uh, 3210 12 more watts 100 watts yeah this model is the same as the one in your hands yeah and uh, i have just connected the cable with a DC head just for convenience of the further power connection. Yeah, and uh, here I will show you the. This is the the same pump. This is same pump, and uh, I will use two power supply. One power supply is uh, powerful enough. This is adjusted uh, uh, AC DC power. Power converter, yeah, it's powerful enough, and its output voltage can be adjusted. So I will adjust it to 12 volts. Yeah, this is one power supply, power A. I take it as power A, and another power supply is the weak one. Uh, I take it as power B. Let's check its AC DC power adapter and its uh, output. Capacity is 12 volts, 3 amps, 3 amps. So its next output power consumption is about 36 watts, uh, less powerful than the rated what uh, rated power of 100 watts. Yeah. So I will use these two power supplies as a comparison. First of all, I will use this weaker. This is not so powerful. Uh, AC DC adapter to power the pump to show you okay here I have plugged into the AC power and uh, I will use this this is a DC head and I have just connected with it. the DC head male female connect with each other okay so the power supply has already been connected with the pump we can check that yeah the rotor works and stops works and stops the same as the phenomenon shown in your video right it, it means that this power adapter cannot put, output enough power to power this pump so the pump cannot normally work of course it cannot pump water instead i will use this powerful enough power supply to power the pump okay uh, because the connector, it seems the connector can be directly as a bell cable. Yeah, so I just uh, get it off. Okay, I get it off, and this is the connector of this of this power A, a more powerful power supply. I will. Look at my camera. Here, yeah. This is the uh, black to black, and this is the uh, red to red, yeah. Of course, my next, yeah. Now we can see the pump works normally. You can see it's 
continuously walk. And at this moment, it can pump water normally. This is its normal performance. Uh, under the powerful power supply. Yeah, this is our power supply. Uh, of course, of course, uh, my friend, if you are convenient, it's my personal recommendation that you can use a DC battery, such as a, a car battery, 12 watts, to power the pump, not using the, your original power supply, to check whether whether the bat after the pump is powered by the battery. Yeah, whether it works normally or not. If it works normally after the battery power, then it means that your original power supply is too weak and you should replace it with a more powerful one to power the pump. Yeah. Uh, by the way, as uh, this pump cannot, uh, one extra information, this pump is always not recommended to work for too long time. Maybe one hour at max. Yeah. Hope my, the whole information can be helpful. And you can check and uh, confirm with us. Thank you. Bye bye.